Welcome back to Vice Grip Garage. Day two of sick week. We are in Orlando. We got a rain day. It's not raining right now, but we got to check in at the track. We still have to travel all the way to Gainesville, and we've got some work to do on the Independent Chevelle, some maintenance, and we got quite a bit of work to do on the Monte Carlo parking lot repairs. Got a Mustang back there, you know. So let's do it. Let's see what happens. Morning, Chad. You got a couple hours of sleep? Three. Three? Yeah, that's above average. So this is one thing we need to address today on the Monte Barro. I talked about it a little bit on day one, but this fender, there's really nothing you could do driving it. I mean, you never know when you're gonna hit dips and stuff like that. And these sidewalls are not known to be tough. In fact, they're like glass basically. So what we're gonna do is I got some air shocks that we pulled off of Independence actually. And these are the exact same frame. They're A body frames. So those shocks, the old ones, should bolt right up in this Monte Carlo. And Chad could throw like 100 pounds in the rear, lift it up while we travel. And then if he wants to, while he's cruising around in the pits and stuff, he could drop all the air out and we'd have this level lowered look again. But that's gonna save us with tire troubles because you know, we don't roll with spares or anything like that. Not at all. I guess we could put the fronts on the back and start wearing through those, but that's kind of a bit of work. And this morning before we leave, I have to address this quick. I got my transmission diaper down there. I don't know how many hundreds of miles that's been dragging, but I should probably address that. And I am also rubbing right here. The plan today is to head over to Gainesville and actually go over to the KSR shop. We can get these cars on a lift and do this stuff a lot faster and easier. Shock should only take 15, 20 minutes, hopefully. Uh, the Chevelle, I'd like to change the oil, see if we got any sparkles in the filter. That's a brand new engine build. So I wanna really take care of that. And I might put a few more rounds in these QE1 shocks too and get my rear end up just to scooch higher because I know that if I rub, Chad's definitely gonna rub. And there were a few moments last night that not only was I weaving through cones, but I think I was on road construction roads in the Chevelle. So uh, was not working out very good. Tires didn't get stolen. That's nice. I just kind of left them on there, but we'll check some oils and get this diaper bag fixed. And then how many miles is it, Jess? I think you said 120 something yesterday. 120 some miles. Okay. Morning, Haley. Morning. Yeah, six hours to do 150 miles, so we might get there by midnight if we start now. We had some failures, as most do on these type of things. <laughs> I hope most do. I feel like I'm not alone. <laughs> and uh, we had a caliper fall off. Yeah, let's see that down. Go through the wheel. This is some serious carnage. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, that's unique. Uh, fix a flat is not going to work. No, no. Thankfully, I found a junkyard, a couple of them that have these wheels. So well, I could probably well these are stacked like 10 deep, dude, these yeah. Mustangs. Yeah. They're usually the front end damage. You and find the front so of the many of these. Typically. And this is like the least sought after wheel, so I'm in luck. Yeah. And then you had a uh, transmission smoke up yesterday. Yep, and I had to get that rebuilt, so that was fun. But look at this. Yeah, LSA out the hood. Woo! We know the power plan is right. Otherwise, it runs fine. 5.3, so we can kind of just cruise like stock 5.3. Yeah. It's already got 180,000 miles on the engine. It's already broken in. Nice. And what class? You're in the C class. What are you running today? Like 1150s. Oh, no the, the dial your own? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to. That's a tough class. There was like 107 people in that. I thing. know. We actually switched to bullseye because I broke out and I didn't want to run 11s and 12s all week. Yeah, so that was kind of my thought. But you have a cage. I can't do that. Yeah. Unfortunately. And if they if they rolled like a 30, I would have to step to a 1230. Right. And run like an 1130. So I'd have to really slow it down. You just have to cruise. Yeah, yeah. it's just the drive. Part throttle, yeah. That's part the fun. I mean, that is definitely fixed. Yeah, I don't. I mean, see. it was good. There's a crushed soda can in there to keep it from tightening too much. Oh, I see that. Yeah. yeah. 
It looks more like a Bud Light can, but I'll take your word for it. Uh, how's the oil on this thing? Uh, it's still over full, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Might be why it's smoking a touch, I'm not yeah. sure. Uh, everything else look good? Ice cube juice? Yeah, that's full. Plugs are good. Right, and then we're uh, steering stabilizer shocks, see if we can help with some of the minor shaking that happens at certain speeds. And we may try to get an alignment and rebalance the fronts. We'll see. The alignment guy is right across the street from Kevin, so. You kind of have to wear a mouse guard in this rig from like 47 to 53 and a half miles an hour. But this thing's a trooper, man. That's it. Nothing else wrong. Staying cool. Oh, yeah. We actually, when we dropped the coolant out of this and out of water, we were fighting to even get the thermostat open. We had to unplug the fans and everything. These radiators are beasts. It took a while, but I think this car, knock on wood, is going to get through this whole week flawlessly and hopefully run a 14 tomorrow i think we can make it happen if we can get it off the line without spinning all the way through first gear so that's pretty awesome got the diaper tidied up on the chevelle but i do have a transmission leak because it was completely soaked in transmission oil and i think that's what was fogging down chad's windshield all day yesterday it's probably just the pan but we'll try to stick this up on the lift as well and just see if we could tighten up the pan and the gasket in there. Just gotta check the oil on this and I guess we're gonna hit the road. Cold start. Oh, can you turn the battery on on the trunk, please? Uh. Cold start, come on now. Listen, if you're traveling with Jessica, that's the first stop, Starbucks. Got to get my class stickers on here. We changed yesterday. Keep the tower in the here and now. It's got to go like that. Just made it to Orlando Speed World. Never been here before. Signs up there. We gotta take a picture and prove that we were at this track today. Even though they called a rain out, we have to show that we've still got along the path and everything. And there's El Toro down there. I think Doug from Motion is driving that. And then Andy Cook is behind him. Oh, Red's driving. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How's it going, guys? Fantastic. What'd my Mustang run yesterday? 854. Well, went nice. a 40. Went a 40, we're trying to go a 40, and then we slowed down to a 54. We're trying to go a 50. It's such a unit, it's hard to slow it down. Yeah. I know, right? He just wants to go. Swung into O'Reilly's really quick. Grabbed a uh, tap and die repair kit, some files, a couple other things, some PS pump juice. Still haven't figured out what's going on here. I got the conditioner and leak seal, hoping I could swallow up this O-ring a little bit. Maybe that'll slow it down just a touch. I also got a Sniggerette lighter kit. We're gonna wire in uh, you know, guy forgot we have to charge our devices and use the JIP system on a computer box machine. So when we stop, I'm gonna wire it in over there somewhere so we could charge stuff and do all that. Nice thing about these headsets is we're running music through them as well. So it's not so deafening going down the highway. But I think we're ready. Where's our first stop at today? Um, I think the first stop is a picture anywhere by the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean, that's cool. So today was the beach day, it's supposed to be the beach yeah, day. Yeah, but of course it's the coldest day of the week. Yeah, cold and overcast, but. So we're gonna head east from here, straight over to the Atlantic Ocean. There's a park we're supposed to stop at. Get a picture of the car next to the ocean. Maybe we'll go down and dip the boots to jacuzzi. Probably not, probably definitely not. These legs cannot be shown. But then we're gonna head 
I guess we start heading west from there back over to Gainesville. Not sure how far that is. Seems like a lot of driving today, but that's part of the challenge is not only do you have to perform at the track, but your car has to make it all week putting these miles on. Fuel stop, we're at some little BP stuckies, I guess, not sure. They only have 87 octane here and they must have something going on with the pumps, which is, you know, but we'll make it work. We got enough in here. We got 46 miles left until we get to the parking lot we're supposed to go to for a checkpoint. And I saw some folks posting earlier, they're actually driving on the beach and stuff like that, but we're actually in the rain now, so that's not gonna be the case for us. But hopefully we can get the cars close enough, grab a pitcher and get scooting. I am dropping a lot of oil now. We had to stop and clean the glass of this. He couldn't see nothing with the rain. And of course, you hit the wipers, the old blinking eyes, and it just, you know, it smears and it's bad news. So I gotta try to figure out what's going on with this transmission pretty quick. Did check the oil, we're good there, but I don't know if it's just hitting the drive shaft and really whirling out most likely, but I don't know. We'll keep on rocking. Made it to the next checkpoint, Atlantic Ocean. Looks uh, like it would have been amazing with some sunshine, but that's just the way she goes. Car's doing good still. Massive, massive leaks. Of course, you guys remember there's no floor back here. There's no weather stripping. All the water is wicking up, coming right through under the floors. Jessica's wrapping herself and all my going to town flannels and stuff, but we're just floating in here in water. But that's the way she goes, I guess. Well, I was a little bit nervous about that fuel we put in, and I think we are following plugs. Starting to get to that point, we got to change on them again. There's an O'Reilly's down the road here, about 18 miles. That's going to be our next stop. And then I've got some E85 in one of those jugs. We stopped at a racetrack, topped that off, and then I can start mixing that down get rid of that bad fuel. Grab some plugs for maintenance today maybe or tomorrow before the track we'll see how it goes. I need those for like the rest of the week. time I do one of these dragon drives I got to roll the trailer last time it was on a gravel road tried to get out quick in front of the car that was letting me come out as he was pulling in gas it just a hair and I guess so slick the trailer slid and then caught leaned on the side I got this scraped up here I think we could fix that this snapped right off here that's just a poor weld not enough heat on that but we'll strap the fuel drugs back on same place get rid of this bar wheels did not get beat up which is the only thing I care about both of them this one just struck a little bit on the sidewall but we're good no big deal found my caps we did not find a screwdriver also known as our pins I'm about to recurl that. Actually, do something there. But this is actually going to work better, we just realized, because it doesn't have all the weight on the sides. It's not so tippy, so 
We're better off, but down a screwdriver, basically. I'll have to get Chad a new one. Safety chains did their job. Wiring didn't get wrecked. Ready to rock. Let's hit the road. configuration is holding up whoops left the light on and dead battery kind of funny i just heard last year if you remember john and i in the el toro mustang rolled that trailer like it's never been rolled before this year someone if it's red or doug i don't know who did it but someone rolled the same trailer behind el toro this season and i rolled this one so you plan on doing one of these events, you gotta make a roll proof trailer, fellers. That's what I'm saying. It's part of the process. You have to roll it. So make it where it takes damage. All right, off to the next checkpoint. Where are we going? Hoot Owl Farmhouse Homemade Ice Cream. Hoot? Hoot? Hoot, <laughs> Hoot Owl. Hoot Owl? It looks like a cute little Okay. Shop. We're know. going to the Hoot Owls to get some ice cream. I That's the next. Like ice cream is gonna be good today, but. A little maybe. chilly. All right, let's do it. What town is this? Palaka. Pa Palaka? Palaka. <laughs> We're in a Palaka. That's a town. And there's the Hootow Farmhouse ice cream stuff. And there's a lot of folks rolling in, looks like around this time. So we're not too far behind, I guess, which is great. Power steering is leaking like mad. We're gonna have to do something with that. A uh, whole bottle of repair fix it is already gone. And that's gonna be a process because all of that is under the car. So now I've got to clean all of that because I don't want to put a drop of oil on the track. So I'm gonna guess that, I don't know if we'll be able to see it or not. Well, not quite because it was raining, but there's probably a bunch of oil on this side underneath we'll get it cleaned up though monty's doing awesome we got 50 miles to kevin's knock on wood we might get to bed before 3 a.m tonight stop for fuel here found some 93 it's kind of hard to find depending on where you're at in florida cleared the learn table and turned off closed loop starting to break up a little bit and ordered a head at o'reilly's for some more sparkulators while I was in there on the computer box, I went ahead and made some changes on the trans brake slash two-step button thingy. It actually, it worked fantastic. Actually way too good. So I put some timing back into it, shortened it up just a little bit. That'll let us leave the line just a little bit more aggressive. We're still trying to protect that 10 bolt, but I think we could get quite a bit of time out of that 60 foot and leave just a little bit more aggressive and we'll see what happens. We're uh, about 40 miles from our destination, give or take. Gainesville it is late a lot later than we expected a whole bunch of folks here I had the same idea we had you know what let's go sit down and eat some real food might be our last opportunity for the week they got a nine dollar steak here fellers and it's pretty decent I'm gonna be honest I know you you've had the roadhouse right hopefully not the kick to the teeth but the chunk of meat anyway the plan I think is what we're gonna do is I set a thrashing super late tonight. We're gonna get up early, head to the KSR shop, do all of our maintenance and stuff there. And then we gotta do some suspension upgrades as well. Tomorrow is the race in Gainesville. We're gonna turn up the Chevelle a little bit, but that's gonna do it for day two. Rained out in Orlando, but coming up tomorrow morning, Gainesville. Thanks for watching guys, appreciate it very much. We'll see you next time.